Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I sort of thought that I would just do a get ready with me chit chat type video. There are some things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, one of the main focuses that I wanted to talk about was sort of like an eating disorder update and how your friends can still be involved. I had a friend say something about me this previous weekend that really upset me. You know, um, obviously I am no longer underweight. I am a normal weight for my height, um, which is 5'9", and I weigh about like 155 pounds. Yeah, that's technically like a little over than what they want you to be, but, um, I look good. A lot of people tell me I look good. Um, I feel good. I haven't gained so much weight to the point where I don't fit into my old clothes anymore. I still fit into the same clothes that I wore like two, three years ago. But anyway, I had been hanging out with a friend this past weekend. Well, I don't want to call her a friend anymore because of what happened, but um, <clears throat> we went out. It was somebody who I hadn't seen for quite a while. We were really close in high school and um, the first couple years of college, so she knew me at my first. Um, she knew me when I was about 100 pounds at 5'9" and extremely underweight. However, while she knew me then, she was one of those people who was extremely against me and, well, anyone for that matter, um, losing weight in unhealthy ways. She was very upset with me and one other friend in particular because we weren't losing weight in a healthy way. <laughs> <clears throat> We weren't mad at her for being upset about it. We knew she was looking out for our best interests and although we didn't technically take her advice, we didn't tell her she was wrong or tell her that she was overweight and that, I don't know. like. We weren't mean to her about it. Um, we just didn't take her advice. Um, so, um, we stayed in contact, not like constant contact, but we stayed in contact to the point where me and my one other friend knew that she began to start losing weight. Um, she started off doing it in a healthy way, which, congrats, but, um, ended up being a, ended up being in a non-healthy way. Well, me and my other friend, who, she would make comments about our weight all the time, we were trying to gain weight. We were trying to be healthy. We were trying to live, a be like, a better life, um, health style-wise, and she was now trying to lose weight. And she would send us weight loss pictures all the time on, like, Snapchat and being like, oh, down five pounds, you know, only ate 200 calories today, stuff like that. And when you have an eating disorder, you know how triggering little things like that can be. Like, those little, oh, lost five pounds made me feel like absolute garbage. I was over here gaining weight and then one of my good friends was losing weight and kind of bragging about it even though she knew that it would upset me and my other friend um, so uh, fast forward to 2017 me and my friend are both in healthy weights. We are not overweight whatsoever. We are not chubby. We are not 
we don't look bad we look me and her look fantastic and this girl I am talking about is better friends with the other girl who I'm talking about um, that has gained weight with me and well after we hung out this past weekend um, my friend who, who is now like a smaller smaller than um, than I am now commented to my other friend dang Melina's gotten really heavy I'm sorry what I don't um, first of all don't understand what my weight has literally any concern on you to begin with I would understand if I was extremely underweight I would understand if I was extremely overweight but I am NOT I am a normal sized human being who is healthy so that extremely upset me especially with her knowing that I have heavily struggled with eating disorders in the past she knows that it is so easy for me to kind of fall back in to old habits if that makes sense um, obviously I'm not falling back into old habits right now because I have worked so hard to look the way that I have I I'm proud of the way I look I I am curvy I have boobs now I have a butt now I just don't understand why someone who complained about me not being healthy for so long is now making comments about my weight because I am a normal size and now she has decided to live off lettuce and alcohol I don't know that stuff upsets me like it's I am at that point in my life where I am too old to have friends who don't give a dang about me you know I need to have friends who are going to support me who are going to um, be an adult you know and if you or somebody you know kind of is going through the same situation, like you have a friend who just doesn't really care about your well-being, doesn't care about your mental status, doesn't care if you're mentally healthy, physically healthy, bye. We don't have time for that. And I am glad I'm at that point in my life because um, there have been multiple times in my life where... Uh, I had the worst friends. I just wanted to have friends that I could have fun with, you know? Um, currently way too old for that. And ain't nobody got time for that kind of negativity in their lives. You know what I'm saying. I'm just so over it. I'm... People... It's also one of those things where, like... I shouldn't care what people are saying about me, you know, but what is my weight? Why does that concern her? Why should that concern anybody besides me? And it doesn't concern me. I'm not upset about it. I'm happy where I'm at. So unless I bring it up, don't talk about it. And, um, maybe another thing I kind of want to talk about is relationships and dating and, um, once again, more people who just don't care about you. Um, <laughs> I have been struggling finding nice men 
recently. Um, the I was living in Dayton for a while, and when I moved back, I kind of started hanging out with an old fling again, and um, I knew it was really nothing serious, but um, it was still one of those things where I was very intrigued with this young man, and um, we hung out a ton. We were like almost constantly together, so um, when I brought him to my, at the time, my best friend's birthday party, um, didn't think anything of it. <clears throat> uh, about a month later, she told me that they had been hooking up behind my back. So, bye to both of you, once again, and got time for that negativity in my life. Thank you. Um, after that, I was with somebody of her seven months. That doesn't seem like a long time, but um, we kind of jumped into it very quickly. We... Uh, we met out the first night, and I ended up hanging out with him all that night. And then, literally, two days later, I texted him, asked him if I could come over. He said yes. Um, ended up not leaving his house for about three months. <laughs> um, so we definitely jumped into it very quickly and I don't regret that. I definitely don't. Um, I do believe that that had something to do with our downfall just because we started spending so much time together in the beginning and then at the end we are just sort of sick of each other, you know? Um, and it didn't technically end badly. Um, the things that happened after it ended were bad. Uh, he owed me some money, like a decent amount of money, like into the hundreds. And which is fine. I offered to pay for something, um, which he couldn't at the time, which he couldn't afford at the time, but it was something we were doing together. So I thought that it would be fine. Um, so I offered to pay for it, and it was one of those things where I was kind of regretting my decision to stop talking to him, and was rather upset about it, so I wanted to find a way to keep in contact with him, even though, like I said, it we didn't end on bad terms whatsoever. Um, but we ended up fighting, and... When me and him fight, we are both very passionate people. <laughs> so our fights would be literally insane. Uh, we didn't fight that much, but... Um, but we ended up having a fight after we broke up. Stopped talking to each other. I want to say it was maybe two, uh, three or four weeks that we had no contact. Um... Unfortunately, we have all of these same friends, we hang out at the same places, so ended up running into him again. So everything is fine um, with him. Um, we're not back together, obviously, but um, we're on speaking terms at this point. Um, but after I was with him, I sort of came to the conclusion that I don't have time for that kind of negativity in my life, you know? So, um, I was seeing someone slightly, um, once again, it was one of those things where, like, we hung out a lot, like, uh, we hung out a lot very quickly in the beginning, um, but there were just so many signs with this one that said, get out, get out, get out, and of course I had to listen to my brain, and I stopped seeing him. There were a lot of signs that were just, he's just here for 
the physical. Doesn't care about you emotionally. Um, there was actually an incident the other day, which was the final straw uh, with him. We had gone downtown, which is where our, all our bars are. Um, we had gone down there for an event, like a block party type deal for Halloween where everyone dresses up as zombies. Really cool. The entire town basically dresses up as zombies for it and gets, um, and gets heavily intoxicated. And that's what I did. I drank probably a little bit more than I should have. But, um, unfortunately I thought I was with people that I could trust and... Turns out that I wasn't because I stopped to talk to an old friend and I look up and he and his friends are completely gone. I was calling him for like an hour, an hour and a half. He wouldn't answer his phone. He wouldn't text me back. Um, <clears throat> which I understand it could have been loud. His phone could have been dead. I mean, it wasn't, but like, um, I was lost. Completely alone by myself intoxicated downtown with no one around me which is completely unsafe um Toledo is it one of the safest cities in Ohio <laughs> so I was freaking out I was freaking out to the point where I was actually bawling my eyes out um he never answered his phone when he finally answered um he told me he was across the river so that's a 20 minute drive from where I was. He completely left without me, um, <laughs> which is not okay. That is not okay. If somebody does that to you, end it. End it right then and there. It is not worth it. It is not worth your safety. It is not. Who does that to people? I just don't understand. So that was um, that on that relationship. Yeah, I literally had to have my friend come and get me, and she lived all the way on the other, other she lived all the way on the other side of town. And I felt awful because I made her come and get me, but it was literally my only option. Um, a lot of my other friends uh, had already been there and left, so I didn't want to make them come back. One of my other friends was having a really bad night. She had to leave the. She had to leave downtown early because of actually a situation <laughs> with the first girl that I was talking about. She got way too drunk and made my other friend cry at the bar. So, um, we're both done with her. So I didn't want to bother her and my parents were out of town so I couldn't call my parents. I know a lot of people are afraid to call their parents when they're drunk and stuck somewhere or they're drunk and they drove somewhere and they don't feel comfortable driving home but they're too afraid to call some but like call their parents yes your parents will be mad okay they will be mad at you but they're not going to hate you forever I would much rather call my parents and have them be mad for two days instead of be dead in a ditch somewhere I'm pretty sure most people would I'd rather have angry parents than be dead. Or have a DUI. So, there's that. Well, I'm trying to think. I think that might be all that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I think we hit on like a couple subjects. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye!